I'm Gloria Strode and welcome to Straightforward. Today we have our school board representative, Vanessa Jackson, school board district three, and one of her mentees, Jayla. Welcome. Hello. Thank you for having us. Well, we thank you so much uh, for your support of Straightforward. Mm -hmm. um, you have been a great supporter over the years and it's your support and the support of others like you that make this possible. So we just want to uh, thank you for believing in us and assisting us with trying to keep the community informed. That's really what it's all about. We want to keep people abreast of what's going on. But I see you have a new mentee every yes. school year after graduation. I mean, who have we had? We've had um, Mr. Harvey, right. who is now a sergeant yes. in the U.S. Army. Mm -hmm. And then we had another young lady that you brought last year. Right. And she was working with you, mm -hmm. and you had had her at Child Care Network. Yes. yes, she was a product of Child Care Network. Yes, and, yeah. and then she eventually became a staff member. Yes. yes. And now we're mentoring you are Jayla, Jayla King. Is that your last name? Brian, I'm sorry. I don't know where I got that from. And so you reached out to uh, Vanessa Jackson mm -hmm. because you were interested in becoming a teacher. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And so you graduated from Muskogee County School District. Yes, ma'am. And you are enrolled where now? I'm enrolled in Georgia Military College. Okay. And so you are starting your career yes, toward the path of becoming a teacher. Yes, ma okay, and mm -hmm. so Vanessa, how did you all connect? Because I know you've had what zillions of children over yes. your twenty years at Child Care Network. Yes. So how did you all connect? Well, um, Jayla, I gave her her high school diploma. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And we didn't know each other, but she had <laughs> someone to reach out to me. Really? To say that she was interested, you know, in becoming a teacher. Mm -hmm. That she loves kids, and that she just wants somebody to give her a chance. Really? Mm -hmm. That was very resourceful. Yes. And I applaud you for that. You know, because mm -hmm. we have students sometimes they're not really sure what they want to do after they graduate mm -hmm. and so you had uh, the presence of mind and the foresight to say yes I'm going to college but while I'm doing that mm -hmm. I need to get a mentor and I can get a job mm -hmm. that is exciting so do you have other siblings Siblings. You're the only child. Yes, That's probably why you want to work with children. <laughs> yes, they say only children are lonely children. Yes, so you can go to Child Care Network and have as many sisters and brothers and kids <laughs> as you like. Yes, so what do you do at Child Care Network? I work with all the children. Okay. I bounce, and bounce to each classroom. Okay, so you're getting experience at all levels. Yes, ma'am. Okay, very good. Yeah, okay. Jayla is a floater right now. Mm -hmm. um, it, either class, it doesn't matter what class we put her in. Mm -hmm. I mean, she goes in, the kids love her. They just kind of flock to her when she comes in, you know, yeah, into the she classroom. Yeah, because she has that she new energy that, and that yes, excitement. Yeah, yes. and because she reached out to you, she mm -hmm. has the passion. Absolutely. And that's what's important. You know, Absolutely. when we start looking at careers, mm -hmm. if it's something that we have a passion for, mm -hmm. then it makes it less of a job and more of a calling. Right. Right. And so you're excited. Yes, ma'am. You Very are. Excited. So, how did it feel the first morning when school started? You had graduated yes, and you didn't have to go to high school. Wasn't that a strange feeling? It was a strange feeling. <laughs> it, really, it really was. Yeah. Right? Yeah, because you were used to what? School, your right daily up. routine. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. And so uh, you are from Columbus. Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. And so you are mentoring one of our own. Absolutely. Right. And you do this all the time. I do. Yeah. And mm -hmm. so we really got to, you know, at when Jayla leaves, we got to get the next one. The and, next that, one. And, yeah. and then when Jayla becomes a teacher, then she has to pass it on. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. So school board district three, what are all of the schools that you serve? Okay. I have two high schools. Okay. Carver. And Spencer. The Carver High School. The Carver High School. Yes. <laughs> the Carver Tigers. Yes, my school. Spencer, Spencer Greenway. Yeah. And then I have the middle school. I have Baker Middle School. Mm -hmm. Dorothy Heights. Mm -hmm. um, 
I have MLK. Which is where the, you attended the, and yes, you, were, yes. you were a child and it was mm -hmm. Winterfield back then. Absolutely. I'm right. um, St. Mary's. Okay. Brewer. Brewer, which, which used to be the other Carver Elementary. Uh huh. Right. And Winton Elementary. Okay. And did I say Dorothy Heights? Yes, you did. Yeah, Dorothy okay. Heights. Yes. So you really have a, a broad I do. Uh, section. I do. And that's the thing with District 3, that it's kind of tricky. It's mm -hmm. like from all the way from Bunker Hill all, all the way over to Midtown. Midtown. Right. And yes. so you are kind of all over the place. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so this year, you once again attended the Carver Spencer Alumni the, the Unity Breakfast, the Unity and I breakfast. actually had an opportunity to speak. Uh huh. And um, it was it was awesome. It was you know it was wonderful to see the two schools come together. Yes. And Unity. Yeah. So that, and, that, and then that's a rich legacy. It is. Uh, it which is. Jayla is not old enough to know, but mm -hmm. at one time those were the two schools mm -hmm. for African Americans. You either went to Carver or you went to Spencer, and that was before integration. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that's why it's such a big rivalry, you it know, is. and people take it so seriously. And then you just have generations, you know, of, of folks. So, uh, what can we look forward to with District Three? I, I know you have a newsletter. I do. I mm -hmm. saw the recent one. Okay. And so you featured some of your graduates from the last mm -hmm. season mm -hmm. yes. and some other community events. Some, yes. Right. Um, right now, you know, the Spencer alumni, uh -huh. they're getting ready to have their annual banquet. Uh -huh. So we're, I'm looking forward to, you know, going to that. Uh -huh. um, we just we just have a lot of things and going the games, on. The football the game, games. Yeah, the football games. Although what, you went to Hardaway. I went to Hardaway. <laughs> but I'm also getting ready to do my fall festival. Okay, good. It's the annual um, community the event. Event. And, and then it's, it's for everybody. By, and it's free. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely okay. free. We're gonna have games, food, mm -hmm. everything is gonna be free. Okay. So before we run out of time, mm -hmm. I want to uh, make sure we get that in more detail. Okay. I want to go to our sponsors and then we'll come right back and okay. we'll pick that conversation up. Because okay. I want you to share with the community everything you're going to be having at that fall festival. Okay. And it's a great thing. You're going to be excited. Okay. <laughs> we'll be right back after word from some of our sponsors. Straightforward is brought to you by Chalk by Quincy introduces excellence redefined time pieces of the finest technology, luxury, and class with tons of style at chalklifestyle.com. Renal Associates LLC, a team of physicians dedicated to excellent kidney care with five convenient locations to serve you. Stark Avenue, Columbus, Bratley Park Drive, Columbus, Lafayette Parkway, LaGrange, West Washington Street, Eufaula, and Spring Street in Warm Springs. Vanessa Jackson's District 3 Successful Scholars Program, supporting students in achieving academic excellence, outstanding citizenship, positive social and cultural growth, believing in success for kids. Dr. Sheikha Shaw Family Medicine, connecting your health to your future. Dr. Shaw prides herself in providing compassionate health care and establishing long-lasting relationships. Conveniently located at 2827 Warm Springs Road, Suite 3B. Call her today at 706-324-4177. Walmart's reason for supporting Thurgood Marshall College Fund is simple. We like to win. And we have been given a lot of exposure to some, to some incredible talent. And we also believe that it's a part of our responsibility to the community to give back. This is a great opportunity to do both. It's been a wonderful experience for us through the years. We've appreciated our partnership. We believe in return on investment, and we have definitely had a remarkable return. History is important because it shows where you're coming from and where you're going. Type 2 diabetes is something that runs in my family, which means I'm at risk. In fact, one in three American adults are at risk for developing type 2 diabetes. And knowing this, if I do nothing, that family history becomes my family's future. And my family is too important to me for that. Take the risk factor assessment today at AskGreenNo.com. And 
welcome back to Straightforward. I'm continuing my conversation with the awesome Vanessa Jackson, School Board District 3, and Jayla Bryant. I got it right? Is that right? Welcome. I tell you, I'm excited when I see young people that actually have a plan. Uh, sometimes we just kind of float around for three or four years and not sure mm -hmm. what they want to do, but I'm glad to see that you were focused and then you took the initiative to try to reach out mm -hmm. to develop your plan, and I really applaud you for that. But let's go back to that awesome, awesome October Fall Festival that you have. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been there, you've had Senator Harbison there yes. and some other people from the community. Share with our audience what happens that day? Who can get involved? Is it free? All yeah, of that. Yeah, e everything is completely free. It's, <clears throat> excuse me, it's Child Care Network and myself giving back to the community. Okay, so it's Child Care and Network, your employer, right. and Vanessa Jackson School, School Board, Board District, District 3. three. Right. right, we're giving back to the community. Uh -huh. um, we provide um, the food, we have games, and we also have benders there, uh -huh. so it can be educational as well uh -huh. for not only the kids, but parents as well. well. We have resources and, uh -huh. you know, things like that for them. For su a support for, for service. support service. Services. Absolutely. And the uh -huh. vendors, it's free. Completely free. Okay. And everything is completely free. Right. So they just show up, bring so their things. We even have the tables. Mm -hmm. You know, they only have to they bring don't the tables. They have table. to set up their own tables. They do not have to set up their own tables. Mm -hmm. um, we have all that taken care of. So what they have to do is reach you at school. At Child Care Network, Child Care Network and say that they're interested because I know last time you had people from First Readers and some mm -hmm. other community org. You mm -hmm. had veterans on had the grill, veterans on the grill, the, uh, motorcycle yes. club. There, people mm -hmm. were helping. Born free riders, right? Mm -hmm. With the games, and uh -huh. it was really. We had some American Legion. Yes, people you have, there always have the Legionnaires. Legionnaires. Uh -huh. Yes, well, auxiliary. The women. The, yeah, auxiliary. the auxiliary. Okay. auxiliary. Right. So mm -hmm. the Legionnaires are the men. Uh, men. And then, okay, mm -hmm. the, the auxiliary is Miss Pam and all of those ladies. Right. Okay. And I also spoke with the um, the commander, okay. um, uh, Miss Penny uh -huh. um, for, of the Legionnaire. So uh -huh. she's she's interested in being a vendor. Oh mm -hmm. wow! Okay, yes. so we have a female commander. A female commander. Two six seven. Oh, two six seven. Cedar Road. So that's the cook. Uh huh. Is it? What's the name of it? The, it was the cook, cook or whatever, uh -huh. if you're looking it up. That's why right, I want people right. to know because mm -hmm. there's a 35 uh -huh. and uh, that's a 267. It's 267. And 267 is the one on Casita Road. Yes. In case people want to reach out. Okay. Yeah, because mm -hmm. a lot, we assume because mm -hmm. we know. Right, that everybody, everybody knows. Everybody knows. And of course, you have always been active with the American yes. Legion. And yeah, at one over time. Over 20 years, over I was the um, president. I served two terms. Two terms as president. Mm -hmm. Two terms and district president. And the other thing that you worked diligently with was the homeless veteran stand down. Yes. And you did that. You were actually working with it when they had Shoshana Johnson. Yes. And she was one of the women that had been captured during yes. a real war. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I had the opportunity to um, meet her, host her mm -hmm. when she came and just kind of show her around Columbus mm. and, you know, what we have to offer. So your service, Jayla, this is what you need to be learning from your mentor, mm -hmm. <laughs> goes beyond just one circle. Yes. You have to, in order to lead, reach out. Mm -hmm. Go beyond the people that you normally deal with. And That's so right. you have an excellent mentor. Yes, so we're expecting great things. And then she's one as a leader that will let you use your best ideas. Mm -hmm. And I've seen that with Mr. Steele and mm -hmm. some of the other staff you work with. I think it was mm -hmm. Mr. Steele or someone taught the children sign language. Sign language, language. yes. And, huh? they, they, yeah, his yeah. class is very famous for that. They actually, <laughs> they actually, <laughs> they um, really are famous. Right, they actually opened up the um, school board and they did the um, sign. They did sign language. They did pledge in sign language, and they and they also sung a song. And they also did city council. Really? Yes. You know, Mrs. Steele is just fabulous. I mean, really, yeah. it's so much you can learn from him. And mm -hmm. why I get so excited about him, it, the staff, the team there you have yes. is awesome. They're superb. But he is non-traditional. We don't have enough African American, American. males mm -hmm. in that role. And so when I see him doing that. And then you have a leader that will yeah. allow you to be creative. Because not all leaders will allow that. You yes, know, some right. folks, if it's not their idea, they don't think it's a good idea. 
But mm -hmm. over the years, even outside of this mm -hmm. show, and I've participated with things over at Child Care Network, it's like, okay, it's a great idea. She'll just do it. Make it happen, yeah. you know? And so your uh, professional development, I know you're always doing great things for your staff. I mm -hmm. see things on social media where you had set up something for your teacher's appreciation. Oh, and yeah. See, and I felt some kind of way. I said, oh, <laughs> so they have the <laughs> gifts and prizes at Child yeah. Care Network yeah. today. Yeah, because they work hard and they put their heart, you know, into what they're doing. And mm -hmm. a lot of my staff are, you know, been there, what, 15 years plus. Right, because Miss Gloria so, has been there uh, with the with Child Care Network a long time. Right, I know, yeah, she, yeah some of them been there like 19 years, yeah. and you just really don't That's a lot of that. kids. Yes. Because you have, uh, your enrollment, you mm -hmm. are one of the premier yes. Uh, yes. sites for yes. the corporation. Right, right, because right. we're open to midnight. Okay. We're open to midnight. And that's, so. that's that conversation I want to have because we often take things for granted. Yes. And you picked a good, you picked a real good mm -hmm. career. Because right. as we're working, then we take for granted the people that are serving us. Well, where are their children? We want to make sure that the best and the brightest and the most mm -hmm. well-trained are taking care of the children of the people that's taking care of us. You know, Absolutely. and so that's what you're going to be learning uh, as a mentee. Uh, I, I just really, I'm excited about you because mm -hmm. you you have vision. <laughs> no, really, you she really has a do. Lot, she has a lot of passion too for right. kids, and that's what I saw in right. her: the passion and the spirit, the spirit. Right, because mm -hmm. you really have to have that. Well, what we're going to do, ladies, we're going to take our final break, go to our sponsors, and then we're going to come right back, and we're going to talk some more about that. Okay, all right. We'll be right back after word from some of our sponsors. Straight Forward is brought to you by Warrior Outreach. Contact Command Sergeant Major Retired Sam Rhodes or Kathy Rhodes. The Hugel Foundation, enriching the community through Christian music support, community outreach, and the Georgia Through Photography Project. For more information, call B at 706-568-6431. Progressive Funeral Home, family owned and operated since 1952. The George Ford legacy of high standards continues today in the compassionate and professional services provided. A touch of dignity for those who care. Progressive Funeral Home, 4235 St. Mary's Road, trusted by generations. East Alabama Endocrinology, educating and caring for those living with diabetes in Alabama and Georgia. 1400 Bradley Lake Boulevard, 3320 Skyway Drive, Suite 602, Opelika. Take charge of diabetes and live your best life. State Senator Ed Harbison, serving the citizens of Georgia's 15th Senatorial District and on the front line for veterans every day. History is important because it shows where you're coming from and where you're going. Type 2 diabetes is something that runs in my family, which means I'm at risk. In fact, one in three American adults are at risk for developing type 2 diabetes. And knowing this, if I do nothing, that family history becomes my family's future. And my family is too important to me for that. Take the risk factor assessment today at AskGreenNo.com. Walmart's reason for supporting Thurgood Marshall College Fund is simple. We like to win. And we have been given a lot of exposure to some, to some incredible talent. And we also believe that it's a part of our responsibility to the community to give back. This is a great opportunity to do both. It's been a wonderful experience for us through the years. We've appreciated our partnership. We believe in return on investment. And we have definitely had a remarkable return. Welcome back to Straightforward. I'm continuing my conversation with the awesome Vanessa Jackson, School Board District 3, and the fabulous, my new friend, Miss Jayla Bryant. <laughs> I'm excited about you because our children need people that's excited about education. Yeah. It can't be a job. It has to be a calling. Absolutely. Because the pay is not what we should be paying teachers mm -hmm. because teachers 
create all the other professions. We train that you know you all are the trainers. Yes, you know you train in the future. Right. You know, and so for those that don't have the heart for it, it shows. You've been doing this for more than 20 years. More than 20 and that is years. why people encourage you to run for school board. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So you started with Child Care Network. Network. What did you start as? Because you didn't start as the no, I did. leadership. No, I, you I worked actually, your way. I actually started as a floater. Same thing as Ms. Shayla. Yes, I actually started <laughs> as a floater. Really? And um, I just, you know, found that I, I loved what I was doing. Mm -hmm. And I never thought that I would be where I'm at now. But someone saw something in me that I didn't see in myself. Yes. So, and that's why you're so passionate yes. about mentoring others. Right, right. Yeah. Because I had someone to mentor me yes. and encourage me to go to school mm -hmm. and, you know, to be and all so that you, I can be. And so, you rose and through the ranks. I did. Isn't I that did. something? And now yes. your center is the premier. Mm -hmm. I mean, you all are top <laughs> producers. No, we really. Are. We are. You are top producers. And you all do a lot to give back to the community. You, we do. you all support a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And of course, Vanessa, I want to thank you for the Successful Scholars Program. Yes. You've had been working with children mm -hmm. that had some issues they yes. overcame. Yes. And they have gone on to be great students mm -hmm. back in the regular school population, mm -hmm. not at the alternative school. Right. Leaving, yeah. going on, having great careers. Great careers. I mean, yes. we got sergeants in the United yes, States we do. and the yes, military. We do. Yes, we do. And every time I see his picture with you on social media, I'm like, yay, I'm just cheering on. Right. He comes back. Every time he comes home, he comes back to visit. And to, reading to and the kids. And reading to the kids. Just, yeah. to, just to give back. And that's what it's about. Yeah. So your center, you're open till midnight. We are open till midnight. Not everybody have the nine to five hours. Exactly. Not everybody has that. People like working in hospitals, mm -hmm. nursing homes. Right. And for those of us that like to eat out, so when we go to those nice restaurants, Miss Jayla, mm -hmm. and it's past six o'clock or it's eight o'clock at night, those folks that's working, someone, they need trusted people yes, to take do. care of their children, mm -hmm. people like you. Mm -hmm. So are you ready for the challenge? Yes, ma'am. Okay, <laughs> so you're gonna put your social life on hold because you are focused on your new career. Yes, ma'am. Okay, all right. Yeah. So when you finish college, are you gonna stay here or you plan to move outside of Georgia because I know a lot of times you know we want to go test the world right. but you think you might start here because you're really trying to get to be what a pre-k teacher yes, ma okay yeah. and your teachers are certified they are they are certified okay yeah. and they have to be certified okay <laughs> and in your normal day though uh -huh. for your after schoolers okay they are certified as well okay mm -hmm. so those teachers that are helping with homework are certified yes, teachers they are certified teachers and I have one certified teacher to come back to help with the um, after school is the one that are there late because when their parents are picking them up eight, nine, ten, eleven o'clock at night, mm -hmm. they they're not doing homework. No. The parents are tired. The parents are tired. The kids are tired. Mm -hmm. So it's up to us to make sure mm -hmm. that you know they're getting their work done and they are prepared for the next day. day. And mm -hmm. you have dinner for them. We feed it's dinner. It's not just cookies feed, and milk. No, 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 mm -hmm. no, no. We have someone come Look in. at Miss Jayla. She said, no, no, no. <laughs> no. Okay, Miss Jayla. Have some, we have someone to come in and cook a hot meal. Really? Yes, it's, it's, it's a hot meal, and we serve them their dinner. Uh -huh. And then after we serve them the dinner, um, the ones that are in school that really need help with their homework, uh -huh. that's when we get along, because it's more like one-on-one -on -one time with really? them. Now, when they could, when they get out of school, we do give them time to do homework. Uh -huh. You know, we do give them time, but after dinner, for the ones that are late, we're more one-on-one -on -one with them. Okay, so they can get some special attention with Absolutely. the certified teacher. with the certified teacher. Now, I want to make sure I get this point in, and I do not work for Child Care Network, okay. but I've seen the great service and, and the, the support that you have for mm -hmm. families. Because uh -huh. you all are what? The working parents what? Working parents best friend. <laughs> <laughs> so we for are. the children that need extra tutoring with the certified teacher, mm -hmm. you're not charging their no, parents we do, extra. We do not, no, we do not charge. So there is not a separate tutorial fee? No, it's not. It's, okay. It's all, all included. And, and my teachers are wonderful. They, uh -huh. they are willing and, and they want to help. Mm -hmm. They want to help. Even you have some children with special needs. I do. We learned at your last 
past professional development, you had a child with diabetes. Mm -hmm. So you brought in the Dr. Baliga yes. to, to talk to your teachers. Mm -hmm. He's an endocrinologist. So yes. you were not there, but the next time you'll be there. Mm -hmm. And he gave tips on not just, you know, how to manage children with diabetes, but, but even the staff, staff. The staff as that, well. As well. And, you know, that was a free service. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have a lot of those professional development things that Child Care Network is so great awesome. about. Mm -hmm. You know, and well, you all don't have to pay for it. Because in some professions, you have to pay for, that. for continuing ed, mm -hmm. you know, to keep right. yourself, your, your credentials together. Yeah. And so with Child Care Network, if they're going to school or they're interested mm -hmm. in working with children, you all have... We pay 100%. We have financial assistance. Really? The only thing is they have to be passing. They have to pass. They have to pass. It doesn't have to be an A. No, it does not have to be an A. <laughs> they just got to pass. They just got to pass. And, so they, and it's 100%. 100% mm -hmm. tuition 100%. reimbursement. Yes. You hit pay dirt, Ms. Jayla. Yes. <laughs> I mean, you really, you know, and that's a, maybe something you might could share with some of your other friends. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So what has it been like for you? I mean, you have learned a lot, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Are you making new professional friends? Because mm -hmm. it's hard going from your high school friends to your new friends. So now you have what? New professional friends. It's very positive. And very positive? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And so what do your parents think about this? Are they excited? Yeah, we are very excited. They're <laughs> proud of me. And they They're should be proud of you. Of you. Yes, and I am very proud of you too. Thank I you. mean, you are a, a very humble spirit. Uh, very lovely, very well dressed, and I think you're going to have an awesome, awesome career. So I'm excited. And of course, yes. Vanessa is doing what Vanessa does. Yeah. And that's why people gonna... wanted you to run for office. Yes. Yeah. Because you are one of the children from the village. I am. Yeah. I am. And, you know, like I said, someone saw something in me mm -hmm. and gave me a chance and gave me an opportunity. Mm -hmm. So that's what I want to do. And that is that one of those special relationships mm -hmm. that you've developed and you still have with I one of your mentors. I still have with one of my mentors this day. for over 20 years. years. Yeah. Yes. And so that's what we're looking for. And yeah. so you'll be great one day and we'll bring you back and we'll be talking about all of that great <laughs> stuff. Well, I want to thank you so much for all you do for our children and for what you do for our veterans and the community at large because you've been out there for a long time doing it when you were not even an elected official. So stay in the fight, keep up the good work. Thank you. All right, thank you ladies. This has been Straightforward. If you don't stand for something, you will fall for anything. Until next time, be blessed.